Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing some of the very important questions related to mobile testing. If you are attending any interview related to mobile testing opportunity, then this video will be very useful for you. So let us move on and understand the first interview question is what is mobile application testing? It is again a, another kind of testing where we will be testing the mobile application, the way we test the website in the desktop. Similarly, we are going to test the mobile application within the mobile for the functional perspective, UI perspective, security perspective, language perspective and so on. Whatever the different kinds of testing which we perform for our website, or any other application in that matter, similar kind of testing, we do it for mobile app testing as well. Second interview question is, what is the difference between mobile testing and mobile app testing? There are two aspects is there. One, which we are going to test the mobile itself. Mobile itself means it is more of testing the physical features of a mobile. Now, when it comes to mobile app testing means whatever the app which is got installed or whatever the software which is got installed within that uh, mobile that will be getting tested as part of mobile app testing. What are the types of mobile applications we have? We have three types of mobile apps we have. One is native apps, second one is web apps and third one is hybrid apps and we will try to understand what is a native application what is native mobile application the mobile app which is developed on the native code of that mobile for example if you consider iphone the iphone is having a different operating system and all the code is being written using that native code whatever the app which is implemented using this native code that will work only within that operating system. It doesn't work in any other mobile operating system. So if you return the mobile app code using native code, that means it will have a good performance plus it will have a good reliability aspects as well. What is hybrid application? Hybrid application is a mix of both native app plus web app technology that's how the hybrid application award these days most of the mobile applications are implemented using hybrid methodology hybrid technology what are the different types of testing which we normally perform for mobile application testing the way we test for web application similarly we will have a different types of testing in order to certify the mobile app the one is first thing is we do functional testing. The functional testing is nothing but just another way of uh, testing the functional perspective. The second one is interruption testing. While doing operation on that mobile app, we will try to take up the call or we will try to do some other thing. That time we will see how the application is going to behave and also we will be doing a localization testing. We will be testing different uh, uh, languages, different uh, currencies, different dates using this testing and also we'll be testing the speedness of the application with having a different memory, different usage pattern. We'll be checking the speed of the mobile app and also we'll be checking for the better usability. User experience also will be testing as part of this mobile testing. Then performance of that mobile app when we are using on the mobile devices and what is the overall performance of that mobile devices plus mobile app also we'll be testing as part of mobile performance testing and we'll also be doing the security testing uh, for that mobile app because that is very important security testing is very crucial for a mobile app these days and we'll also be testing accessibility testing as part of certifying for the disabled people as what are the challenges what are the challenges faced by the mobile tester while testing the mobile application the main challenge is having huge set of devices. We have hundreds of different companies devices, different uh, version devices and so on. That is the first challenge normally mobile tester will face. The second uh, challenge is device fragmentation because 
we have a usage of iOS, again we have a Android, Android is again and having a different company mobiles, different screen sizes, different memory sizes, so many combinations of devices available these days that itself a big challenge for mobile app testers. Usage of different uh, network bandwidth, it could be Wi-Fi usage or it could be 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G network and we'll see how the application is really behaving when we are trying to utilize any of these different networking conditions just to see whether application really works or not. And also we will be testing the application across various operating system. It, it could be Android operating system or it could be our uh, iPhone operating system or it could be Windows operating system and so on just to ensure that our mobile apps are working as expect based on the client requirements. What is the key strategy which we normally use while testing the mobile application especially while testing the mobile application is most of the features nowadays it will be get accessed using the network various network that is a key strategy any of functional things may work in seamlessly independently without having any issue but the critical aspect is when the device is on the mobility when people are trying to access the mobile app wide range of networking condition as i said earlier wi-fi bluetooth you have 2G, 4G, 5G, whatever different networking con condition, still your application should work seamlessly. Even if I am traveling on the hill or even if I am going on the tunnel, we will have to see how the application really working with the various different uh, conditions on different platforms like how it is working in Airtel network, how it is working in Geo network, how it is working in Vodafone network. We will have to see everything while testing this mobile application. Can you name some of the important best practices while doing mobile app testing? The important best practices we do normally is we will try to test the application as much as possible in the real devices. That is the number one uh, best practice. The second one is we will be ensuring that our networking conditions we are going to simulate with the various different combinations. Also we will be testing the mobile app for the various uh, different languages as per the requirement if the app is required to be accessed using different languages then that mobile application should support various different languages as well. We will also be testing that mobile app for the battery usage as well because as we are simulating the different various network and also we wanted to see with the given battery conditions because every mobile will have a only certain type of battery conditions. If I use half an hour uh, that given mobile app, if that mobile app is going to drain the battery, you can imagine nobody will use your mobile app because you will have to ensure that your app does not take too much energy from your mobile device just to ensure that it makes use of minimum energy, minimum power in order to run the mobile app. That is also the test we will have to ensure as part of our best practices while testing the mobile app. So what are the key different things we will be testing as part of end-to-end -end testing in mobile apps? The key or primary things which we normally test as part of end-to-end uh, -end testing. So what is simulator? Normally, as I said earlier, if real devices are not available, if the real devices are a little costlier, then we will have to go for a simulator. Basically, simulator is nothing but it is a virtual devices which is simulated version of a real device. What is emulator? What is emulator. The emulator is again a virtual devices which allows the testing by emulating the real devices. Emulator is a complete re-implementation of the original software. What kind of bugs do you really find while testing the mobile app testing? There are various kinds of bugs we normally find out the, such as we may find out the compatibility crash bugs, we may find out performance issues or you may find out UI and UX bugs 
or it could be memory leakage, bugs, networking uh, issues, slow response and other functional aspects as well. So when should a QA team, when should a QA team should choose either we'll have to do a manual testing or an automation testing for the mobile testing project. Normally the automation testing we normally prefer to do once the manual testing is stable enough. At least key things should be stable enough so that mobile UI automation can be picked up in the later stage. And another factor normally when we will go for automation is if a given mobile app will have a long uh, duration project, maybe that mobile app project goes for three years, five years, only that is the situation we will have to invest on the automation tools or automation journey. Otherwise, let's say if that mobile application, it can be delivered within uh, one month, two months without having any future plan, then only we can sustain with the manual uh, testing for that mobile application. What are the key things we should remember while doing block box testing, especially in the mobile application testing. Interaction with the system with the inputs are very much accurate and whatever the operation which we perform is also of an accurate ones and also you should, you should not see any usability issues and also we will be looking for any test data challenges. At least these are the critical things we will normally look while doing a block box testing. Android testing framework is a very powerful tool for a developer to write a effective unit test program. Whenever they wanted to write unit tests, they will be using this Android testing framework. Then you name some of the important automation tool to test the mobile application. There are various tools available in the market. There are various tools available in the market such as we have APM is there, we have Robatium is there, Renorex is there, Colabash is there, Selenroid is there which is a mix of Selenium plus Android. So these are the various tools which we can use to bring an automation for your mobile application.